Welcome to your Daily Dose of Danny. I am Danny Rocco, and let me tell you about this lack of control that is so difficult for me. So I just spent five days in California. This is gonna explain why I look like this in about two seconds. Five days in California, and they were really big days for me. It was the premiere this, um, of the book that I did with Les Brown and his daughter, Dr. Ona Brown. And then I had an interview with an amazing author and an interviewer to all the stars, Steve Simblius. And then I tro drove to San Diego and I did a women's um, event, a military wives event on Camp Pendleton. And those things are really like, I get nervous, I get, you know, I have to prepare, I, um, I'm like, am I gonna forget what I'm saying because of my brain damage? Because that's a thing in my life. The pain from all of that that I naturally go through. Um, so I give myself a day of rest afterwards because I used to not, because I wanted to control my body so much and how I would feel after it. And that would, day when I came home would suck. It was awful. Hey, Scooby Green. It was, like, it was, like, look at me, I'm like a mess. Um, I can't explain to you the pain unless you have brain, I don't even know if the pain's from the brain trauma or the physical part that came with the brain trauma. Not sure, don't care, don't know if the answer really will make any kind of difference. So I woke up this morning, it was hard, and I slowly got out of bed, and I went downstairs and I'm doing my social media, I'm talking to my business partners, kind of catching up, and I was crying. I was in so much pain, my head hurt so bad, my neck hurt so bad. I was in tears, and look, I'm like falling here. I was in tears. And the point of this lack of control is like, I couldn't control, I can't control what my body feels. And I used to think that means I was, meant I was weak, and somehow I wasn't smart, um, somehow I wasn't going to be able to accomplish the goals I needed to accomplish, and I would fight, this stupid thing's gonna drive me crazy. I would fight how I was feeling. So I just said, screw it, and I went back to bed. I held my head, and this is how, like, literally, I, I was like, I wish someone could take a picture, because I would show you guys what I look like. Curled up, and just grabbed hold, because sometimes when that happens, it just feels good to put, like, like a vice on my head. And I woke up like a couple hours later and I looked like ass, I don't care, but it's like swollen and don't care. I have to just give in to this lack of control that I happen to have on my body. And I'm sharing this with you is because at some point there in your life, whether it's your body, whether it's a bad relationships, relationship, whether it's work, um, whether it's a business deal, whatever it is, you're going to have zero control over it. And you just have to recognize that and do what you have to do for you in that moment. And what that is that your need at that moment does not mean that's what you need every single day of your life. It doesn't define who you are. So there's my rattle on about letting go of your control in one little instance. Okay, so everybody, my tripod broke and now I'm Jerry or something up, but I hope that helps. That sure helped me to get that off of my chest. And I will see you guys on the other side, or maybe I'll see you on Tuesday. I'll be, or Thursday, I'll be way more put together for my uh, book signing on Thursday.